We are coming at you today from Point Pleasant, West Virginia, home of this guy right back here. We're in 1966 and 1967. A string of strange sightings and occurrences occurred of Mr. Mothman behind us here. Uh, so we're about to go to the Mothman Museum over here right next to us uh, and check out more of the areas where he was seen across the city. to the Mothman Museum is only $4.50 per adult uh, and there's a huge gift shop that's also free to get into so uh, Lots definitely of fun to be had for a good price. <laughs> yeah it's right next to the statue too so easy to get to um, nice little day trip especially if you're from the Midwest Some museum guide here who kind of fill us in, uh, let us know some of the stories of 13 months to the day before a major bridge collapse here in Point Pleasant. Uh, Mothman was first sighted at this area called the TNT area, um, an old World War II uh, storage area. A lot of people saw him and he was consistently seen in and around this town over the course of the next year. And like I said, 13 months after his first sighting, the silver bridge here in town collapsed killing everybody on the bridge is absolutely bonkers. Um, the evidence and research here is, I think, unparalleled for any of the other cryptid, UFO, paranormal type stuff that I've seen at least. You've seen him in the video, especially the Disney video eating popcorn. Do what do you think of Mothman? Um, you, you, you know, I am skeptical, I have to be honest. But uh, there's a lot of room out there for enjoyment with stories, so that's that's mostly what I got, what I got out of it. He, he is kind of creepy looking. Okay, don't listen to him. He's real. So we're about to head over to the uh, TNT area where Mothman was first sighted. But first, Deanna has a little pit stop she wants to make. We're getting ice cream. I got the Monster Crave Mega oh, Shake. Here, and yeah, I got the S'mores it. Mini Cup show? of Ice Cream. Yeah. And it has like a I real... Said, that. Oh, that's awesome. These are only five bucks each. You can't beat it. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Babe, how's the ice cream? It's really good. But I wanted to show you something. Okay. This door is a Masonite door. And that's the same brand we use at work. <laughs> Back here in the, this weird like road trying to figure out how to get to these TM, TNT bunkers. I think this is six. The that's guy told five. us, that's five. Thank you. <laughs> the guy told us to go to number seven. That should be the easiest one to hike to. It's about a half mile back in the weeds to get to where these old uh, World War II bunkers are. This is six. So I think we got one more to go. And look, there's a car up here. Is that really a Oh, this is it. All right, here's the trail. You can see the, uh, Grasses are hot. It should be about a half mile back here, we think. If not, we're gonna just start hiking to the middle of nowhere until we get lost and turn around. We made it. You can probably hear our echo. I'm trying to give his DNA to go in here. It's There's super bats. creepy. There's definitely bats. I hear something flap in there, but we'll see. It's kind of scary. really loud too. So these bunkers used to store World War II ammunition and they were uh, camouflaged to uh, try to hide case anyone attacked the country. Guys, don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more awesome travel videos. 
So one of the craziest parts of the Mothman story isn't just that they saw him out of this TNT area, but they were actually driving home and this thing, whatever it was that they saw, started flying above their car and followed them home for several, several miles. So it wasn't just a quick um, snapshot view they got of him. They actually saw him for a pretty decent amount of time. So one explanation for people's sighting of Mothman is that uh, what they were actually seeing was swamp gas uh, floating above their car. And actually, we're seeing here a swamp right next to this uh, these bunkers, which gives a little bit of credibility to that theory. All right, we got another one. This one is not really easily accessed and we barely even found it. Holy crap. Yeah, guys, we're in the second one right now. And I know in the camera you can see that giant moth hanging on the wall, but here in person it's pitch black until we turn the camera on and then you can see the moth back there. We uh, did not find Mothman, but please like and subscribe to our channel for more great videos.